Look at it, it's, 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 it's tearing apart. You're tearing apart my life, darling. Huh. My phone died, but it's okay. <laughs> Watch it go. It's going and going and going and going. How much did we spend? Hey you guys, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in to It's Puzzling. Today we are going to do a Goodwill U-Haul. <laughs> Not a U-Haul, a Goodwill haul. Um, I'm probably going to be moving really fast because my phone is about to die and I had to re-record this because my gimbal was making the picture go like this. So hopefully it isn't doing it this time because I don't want to record this a third time. Um, yeah, so I did a Goodwill haul. Um, haven't bought any puzzles from Goodwill before. This was my first time. I went to two different Goodwills. Um, I spent $12 at one. They only had three puzzles in there and I got all three. And then the other one had a boatload of puzzles. I just grabbed a bunch. I spent $45. All the puzzles were like $2 and nine cents. Um, and two of them I got for a dollar. Um, and two of them I also got for a dollar because Goodwill has like color of the week or whatever where you get 50% off if the tag is that color or something I don't know but I got so I got four puzzles for a dollar everything else was two dollars and nine cents um the first Goodwill Goodwill that I went to um like I said I only got three bottle bowls I got 500 piece cobble heel this one is called Rufus Hummingbird. Um, so I really like the colors on this one. Um, it's 500 pieces. It says that it's random cut. So that's gonna be cool. I don't know if that's gonna make it easier or harder to solve. And then I got a Buffalo Games Charles Worski. Um, I've started collecting Charles Wasaki. I think you pronounce his name Wasaki. Um, so I'm trying to collect these um I don't like that they compress the pictures this one is just of two little pets I don't like that they compress the photos um simply because they make you not want to get the puzzle but somebody got me a bunch of these for my birthday and um I was bored one day and did it and the puzzle is actually 10 times better than the photos on the front so I'm thinking that's what's going on with the entire collection they were just kind of compress the picture onto the box so we'll find out when we do this one um and then I got this that I'm really excited about um it's the Simpsons photo mosaic um so what that means it has a boatload of pictures like thousands of mini pictures inside of the puzzle that make one giant Bart Simpson. Um, and I actually was looking online. I'm gonna see if I can find like the whole collection because I think this is really cute and really cool um, because you know what they say, Simpsons predict the future. So I think it's really cool because I'm gonna like zoom in with my other camera and see if any of the photos tell us what's gonna happen in 2024. Like I'm really excited about this puzzle. Um, so that was two, four, six, six bucks at that store. Um, so actually I didn't do my math right. I only spent $51. Um, so I got two giant boxes from the second Goodwill. That's the one that's close to my house. Um, and I determined because I do stay around a bunch of people that have like farmland and stuff. And my theory is they probably only got like one TV in the house and they're like the fun grandparents who used to go to their house and they only had like one TV. So you had to do puzzles and games and stuff because they had like a ton of puzzles in this Goodwill. Like I was super excited and it was only $2. So this one's really cool. Um, I think he pronounced it Wajid, Wajid um, mystery puzzle. So like you can see it has a picture on the front, but from the instructions, the picture on the front is not the actual puzzle. So this is an example. This is like 
a lady, you see the dog in front of the lady, the actual puzzle is the lady falling over the dog. So I'm excited to see what the final picture is gonna be. Um, I haven't opened anything. So I don't know if a poster or a hint or anything is in there. We'll do a deeper review on the actual video for that puzzle. Um, I got this one because it's really cute and it's purple and my favorite color is purple and it looks like Charles Wasaki. Um, it isn't though. It just has like that same artsy style where everything's like jumbled and layered on top of each other. But I really like the colors in this one. I got, this is a, who makes this? Euro graphic puzzles made this. This is Indian pillows. I just like the colors on it. Um, it's called Colors of the World, actually. I guess it's the series. It's a thousand piece puzzle. So I don't know, cause I haven't, this is my first time going back through the box. I just kept the boxes for like the past three weeks. Um, I don't know if all the pieces are in there. We're gonna find out together when we do the videos if the pieces are all in there. So tune in for those to see if my anticipation and anxiety rises to see if we're gonna be missing a puzzle piece. Um, this puzzle actually wasn't missing a piece. Um, this was a metallic puzzle I bought for $5.99 from this store called Ollie's. Um, I had it sitting on the table in the living room for so long, the dog jumped up, piece disappeared. I don't know if he ate it, but I haven't been able to find it yet. So that's why I'm still sitting out here until I find the piece or until I start another puzzle. Now, disclaimer, I did not find any 3D puzzles, which I honestly wasn't expecting to. That would have been great if I could have found a 3D puzzle. Um, Cause as you guys know, I love my rivets 3D puzzles. Um, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, but they're kind of spendy. All three three puzzles seem to be kind of spendy. So I've been doing some Flatland puzzles lately. So we don't have any 3D puzzles, but I am excited about the ones I got. I'm really excited about this spring box because um, if you puzzle a lot, you know, spring box makes really good puzzles like you can like pick them up and they aren't gonna, this is gonna fall apart. I'm not about to pick that up, but you can pick them up and they're not gonna fall apart. Um, I really like this one. If all, even if all the pieces aren't there, I'm gonna keep this one because it's like old records. It has um, Pink Floyd, Led Zeppelin, hair. Um, I'm probably gonna wear my Pink Floyd shirt when I do this, um, just cause I like music. So this one I'm excited to do. I got, White Mountain Puzzles made the states. So I was able to find Washington and Florida. So I don't know if these puzzles actually look like the shape of the state, which would be really cool because if they do, then I'm gonna use my garage floor and I'm gonna try to find like all the states. And once I get them together, I'm gonna put them together to make like the United States map or whatever. But if they come in the square, then, you know, we're just gonna do one and throw it back in the box. Um, but, and they have, so I'm assuming if it's the square, it's gonna have like all these fun facts about each thing on there. This one seems pretty. No, it's taped it open too. So I was gonna say this box is very well intact, like it's never been opened, but it has the tape on the back that it's been opened. Um, I got this. It's another white mountain. Um, this one's not closed. Oh, but luckily, somebody was nice enough, whoever donated, to put it in the bag. Doesn't have a poster or anything, but that's okay. We'll use the box. Um, love when they put it in a Ziploc bag. That was very nice, because I do put my puzzle pieces in a Ziploc bag afterwards as well. Um, this one is just like a bunch of pencils with different designs on every pencil. I think that it's gonna, it's a thousand pieces, but I don't think it's gonna be super hard simply because most of these pencils are different designs. And then I got this American Maritime History. It just tells like 
history for rivers, boats, stuff like that um, around America. If all the pieces are here, it's actually an elementary school in front of my neighborhood. I'm probably going to donate this to the elementary school if all the pieces are there because I think it'd be really fun for them to, you know, learn history at the same time that they're doing a puzzle. And then this Encyclopedia Britannical Springbok. Um, I'm going to call it the stamp collection. I don't know what collection this actually came from, but it's like every state in the U.S. And um, it has like a bird and a flower. I don't know if the birds and flower are accurate to whatever the state bird is and whatever the state flower is. But I will Google it, and if they are, and all the pieces are, we're going to send that to the school as well, because it's not something I'll see myself doing more than once. Um, and that's it for the first box. So, let's mosey all those back in there, shall we? automatically got for the dollar I'm gonna call them mystery puzzles because they do not have a box they do not have a poster but I know for a fact all the pieces should be here because they are still in the unopened puzzle bag that would have been inside the box so we're gonna time ourselves and see how long it takes me to do these puzzles I don't even know how many pieces it is um, but we're gonna time it this one it looks like it's going to be like an old timey puzzle i don't know if you can see any of the pieces but i think i saw like a coke label and a pepsi label so i'm thinking it's going to be like a bunch of old storefronts or whatever or soda shop this one um looks like it's going to be like a landscape there's some brick and a window so maybe like a house and a landscape but it looks like it's a painted picture and not a photograph. I don't know if you can see that. So this is going to be frustrating, but we're gonna do it. And then I got this one just because the box looked different. Um, says it's by Doyle Yoder from AmishJigsawPuzzles.com. It's a limited edition. Okay, so this limited edition puzzle is limited to a production of 10,000. So since it's limited edition, hopefully all the pieces are there. That'll be cool. Um, Bank of Wildflowers, interlocking jigsaw. So yeah, we'll review this one and see how it is. Um, ah, odd pieces. So this, um, how do you do this? Let's see. It says mystery puzzles is a jigsaw puzzle that blends elements from comic books, treasure hunts, and secret endings to create the most in exciting puzzling experience yet. We'll find out. So it looks like you get the image that's on the box, but just like that other mystery puzzle, you're actually putting together a puzzle that tells you what happens next on the image. Um, so that's gonna be interesting and frustrating because that box is big. Hopefully all the pieces are in there. Um, what's all supposed to come in here? Let's see. So in here, it's supposed to be a thousand piece puzzle, two puzzle guide maps, two storytelling comics, a hidden clue list and a secret ending envelope. Hopefully the envelope is not open and laying on top, but I do want it to be in there. Um, I got, I think I got like three more Charles Wasakis, um, all Buffalo games. This one is a holiday collection. <laughs> My phone died, but it's okay. I The dark night. Yeah. Now we're good. Huh. 
The universe just doesn't want to tell. Let me tell you guys my good you haul haul. You haul. My good wheel. <laughs> so the battery died. Sorry, it's late. I'm sleeping now. Um, I think we left off. I got three more Charles Wasakis. They are all a thousand pieces from Buffalo Games. Um, this one's holiday collection. Um no, sorry, yeah, Holiday Collection, Vermont Maple Tree Tappers, cause who doesn't love maple syrup on their pancakes? If you're a waffle person, I'll allow it, but I mean, pancakes are the best. Um, this is Blossom River Junction, which I think should have been like winter or something, cause it's a bunch of snow. But um, this is what I was talking about earlier, like you can see everything is like jumbled together on the box but when you actually do the puzzles they're actually really really um spaced out a lot bigger a lot clearer and the colors are more vivid on the puzzles than they are on the boxes and this is called the bird house it's like a little farmhouse and then horse and carriage it's cutesy but um yeah i'm definitely gonna do those Let's see, what else do we got? Oh, okay, this is City Doors by a company called Remarks. You know what I noticed so far? Like all these boxes, the backs are on, the tops are on them, but they're backwards because all of them I'm having to flip over to see. Um, this is a thousand piece. It's supposed to come with a poster. Um, it's a bunch of doors, which I thought was really cool. Um, I don't think this one's gonna be hard at all, simply because none of the doors and the brick patterns are the same next to each other. So with the sorting, that one's probably gonna be super easy and super fast. Um, this is Easy Grass by Milton Bar. Is it Milton Barrow? I know it's Hasbro, but I don't remember what MB stands for. I think it's Milton Barrow. Um, but yeah, this is an easy grass puzzle. It's large, extra thick pieces. This is only 300 pieces, but the box is freaking humongous. So I think this was a 500 piece puzzle. I think this is gonna be way larger just cause it's bigger pieces. Um, I think this probably be good for kids and people with bad eyesight. Um, but I like tea. A tea and crumpets, darling. Look how, this is why this puzzle is $5.99. I just tapped it and lost another piece. Put that baby back on there. Um, let's see. This one I picked because it had a bunch of bright colors. Um, it's a painting called Tropical. Is this one? This one has big pieces too. So you can see it says actual puzzle piece size. That piece is pretty large. Um, says family fun size. Um, it's written in cursive, but the cursive is really bleeding together. So it's Intra Something Sunset 2 is the name of it. Okay, Intra Coastal Sunset 2. Um, this one's 300 pieces big size, so another big person puzzle. And then the last three are all Thomas Kincaid. Is Sepia make all these? Siako? Is it Siako? Um, is all three of these. I got a thousand piece Thomas Kincaid. He's a painter. Um, this one's a nice landscape. Um, I'm thinking like the fall because the trees are red. Um, and it has like a log cabin and a canoe. Really cute landscape to do. Um, we're going to travel down the yellow brick road because I caught a Wizard of Oz. Like, I'm excited about that one. I love the Wizard of Oz. And who doesn't love Cinderella? The, what is it? The bell has struck 12 something. I don't know. You guys know what I'm talking about though. But it's a Cinderella um, Disney edition, Thomas Kincaid. Um, this one's 750 pieces. It's really adorable. Hopefully the colors are just as vivid as they are on the front. And that completes my Goodwill haul. So we got, this is the receipt. Watch it go. It's going and going and going and going. How much did we spend? 
$2,037. No, I'm lying. We spent $45.30 at that Goodwill. Um, so like I said, I spent like $51 and some change. Um, how many items? We got 22 puzzles from that one and then three puzzles. So I got 25 puzzles for 45 bucks is, for 51 bucks is not bad at all. I'm really excited. Thanks for tuning in on my Goodwill haul. Um, make sure you hit the like, subscribe button. If you like this video, tap in the comments down below which puzzle you're excited to see me do. I think I'm most excited about the odd pieces puzzle where we have to figure out the next scene and the Simpsons because like I said it's got thousands of mini images inside of it to make Bart Simpson and we're gonna predict the future with this one guys. Thanks for tuning in. Hope to see you next time. Leave me a comment down below on which puzzle you think you're gonna like the most. Bye! going anywhere. I'm about to do a puzzle. <laughs> Not on here though. Catch you later. Look at it. It's, 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 it's tearing apart. You're tearing apart my life, darling. These puzzle pieces are just moving and grooving. You think it was a party down there. Do I talk to myself a lot? Yes, I do. But it's only because, to be fair, my dog leaves me alone a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. So I'm excited about all of these. And then after, I'm probably going to do like five Flatland puzzles. Five, and then I'm going to hop back over to my Harry Potter 3D puzzles because I miss doing them. And I'm really excited to add some more stuff to my shelf. So, um, yeah, catch you later. Bye.